So I want to focus on the um, the practice of this information. And I think it's important to have a deep understanding and a potent understanding uh, behind a very simple practice. And in this case, the practice is to feel the wish fulfilled. And that means it's to take a future dream and make it a present fact in the mind. And through my own practice over time, like I had my own questions as like, do I meditate for hours on end? Do I um, just do it one time? Or what is it that I do? No. Um, as, as you know, from testing this out, I found that Neville was correct. He said that it's not so much the length of time, but the frequency that you do it. And um, no, I don't just take his word for it. I actually, you know, I test what he says and he's right. It's the frequency because it's the frequency that makes it natural. And you should do this. Likewise, do the same for me. Don't just listen to what I'm saying and believe it. Really test what's being said. See if I'm saying anything true. Um, and if you find it to be false, then just discard it and move to something you find true. Um, but in this case, the best analogy I can give is like going to the gym. When one goes to the gym, they, you know, I used the analogy in the past about like using the, uh, I am is like an instrument that you, you learn to play and you learn to attach harmonious and lovely, uh, um, states to I am, and then you can express a beautiful song in your life. And in this case, you can also think of it like a muscle that needs to be exercised. It needs to learn how to be stable. Learn it needs to learn how to, the 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 foundation and the um, the form. And you know, you don't just go to the gym one day. You don't work out for ten hours one day and then you have results. It's every every day, a little bit every day. Um, it naturally starts to shape the body, the muscle. And in this case, the imagination is the muscle that needs to be shaped. But the actions we're performing, the exercise, is to feel the wish fulfilled every day. That's what one must do. You must be consistent about it daily. Um, and I'll say this, and I mean this in all seriousness, is that feeling the wish fulfilled one time is greater than listening to eight-hour subliminal messages before you, while you're sleeping or trying to impress your subconscious or um, repeating a thousand affirmations a day. And I'm telling you from experience, feeling it one time is greater. Because what one once you feel it for the first time, what you'll realize is that your desire is within you. And the fulfillment is also within you. And you must fulfill your desires in imagination. And once you realize that you can do that, and then when you do do it, you have a, um, a profound peace that you have found it, that you found what you've been looking for. And... Um, I speak so much about the understanding because I think it's important to have a deep understanding of this. And if you take anything what I'm saying, um, take this. It's when you go within yourself, find the cause. Don't become so attached to the desire. Find the cause of the desire. Realize that, the, that you are the cause of this desire and you are the cause of the fulfillment as well. Don't be so attached to fear. Find the cause of fear. Don't be so attached to certain thoughts. Find the cause. Don't be so attached to certain states. Find the cause of the state. Who's causing these states? And what you'll find is that it's you. You are the cause of everything within you. Everything within you, the money, the objects, the states, they're made of the same substance, which is imagination. But you are the imaginist, which gets to choose what you want to make reality. Um, these unoccupied things within you, you can make them into realities within you. And that is feeling the wish fulfilled. That is feeling as a present fact. Now, in the past, I've shared that, you know, you must think of the past as I was or in the future as I will be and remove those as well. And it's all about feeling it as I am, that there's no working to get it. It's already is an imagination. You believe imagination. Now, you can also think of it like um, when, you, when Neville says to leave the world alone and change the conception of yourself, you must take that seriously, which is to actually leave the world alone. And what does that mean? You know, once I understood this, it so much things opened up for me, is when you leave the world alone, that means you don't care at all what it has told you about yourself, and you don't care what it is telling you about yourself, and you don't care what it's going to tell you. You leave it entirely as is. You leave it completely alone. You don't change anybody within it. You don't change nothing within it. All you do is go within, and you change yourself inside. That is what you do. You make you find the cause within you and you change yourself the way you want it to be. Now, um, 
because honestly, who cares what the world says? Like, honestly, at this point, who cares? I've, I've tested this enough to where I really don't care. Um, I've had a conversation with someone where they've said something and I have, it was literally something I didn't want to hear. <laughs> and it made me feel um, kind of annoyed. And I went to bed that night, changed the entire conversation. And it's like a few days, if they called me Monday, let's just say it went Thursday, they called again. And they repeated those same words that I've revised. It's almost as if they completely forgot what they said in the, on Monday. Now, the reason why I can do that is because I don't care what the world says. I don't view the world as final for me. I don't. Need, I don't ask if my if it's a, if it's possible or impossible. I don't care. I just imagine it anyways. Because while I'm imagining, I truly feel that I'm exercising the cause of my life, and this is the cause of my fortunes and my misfortunes. And I'm not here to blame people. I'm here to find the cause. And what I found is that the cause is my imagination. So can I test this? Yeah, if my imagination is expressing here, then it's an imagination where I must be where I want to be. It's an imagination that I must fulfill my desires. And if I can make desires, if my desires are expressing from my imagination, so will my fulfillments if I fulfill them within me. So I've tested this and it's true. I found it to be true. Now, I don't know the lengths of this. I don't know like the limitations of this dream. I don't know if there are any, but we must test that. And you don't, you can't test the limitations of a dream if you keep thinking, well, it's impossible, it's impossible, while you imagine. Or, well, the world told me this before in the past. You know, I had a nasty habit of taking my past and using it to sabotage my my dream that I wanted. I'd say, well, I can't really become that because of my past. Or or, or I would catastrophize my future. I'd, I would become it, and then I'd, next thing I know, I'd catastrophize it in my mind. Well, who's the cause of it? And I'd be so attached to the catastrophe, and I'd be so attached to the past in my mind. But who's causing these thoughts? I am. It's me who's given importance to it. So once I learned that, I was able to not care at all what the world has told me. Because basically what, what is being done here is the moment you look to your past or your future, your present, and the outer world, you're basically letting that dictate your I am's. You're, you're saying, I am X, Y, and Z because of my past. And you can't allow the world to dictate that. Who cares what the world says? You change your I am's within you. That is what you're seeking. You're seeking a change in I am. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, everybody is. <laughs> Everyone in this world is looking for the cause. So don't feel, and on some level, you found it. Um, but you have to accept that you found it. And from this, you can now completely mold yourself in the way you want to be. And you do it daily. The frequency is what matters. It's not about doing it one time. It's every day you feel the, some wish fulfilled. You practice this. Maybe it's for yourself or maybe it's for another. You know, don't, I've listened to people tell me that they, you know, their situation feels hopeless and they don't know what to do. And I just imagine for them. And then a couple of weeks later, the next thing you know, I get confirmation that it worked out for them. But I don't think about them in the interval of time. I just imagine it in that moment. It's much easier to imagine for others because we can be attached to things in our lives. But you're not so attached to them uh, and the, um, you're, you're, you're not so attached to them in the external. You're attached to them, um, so, for example, what I'm trying to say is that when someone comes to you for help, you're not attached to the external part of them. When you imagine them being, you know, fulfilled, you attach yourself easier to that fulfillment. But when it comes to ourselves, we're so attached to this outer world. We're so attached to the things we want. We have to see that we are the cause of the want. We're the cause of this. Because if we can see that, then we can be the fulfillment of it as well. And then when we're the fulfillment and the cause, when we're the desire and the fulfillment, then we have found the cause which is ourselves. We found what we've been looking for because we don't want the world to fulfill it. I want to fulfill it. I want to be the all I want to be enough for me entirely. So you have to really uh, when people come to me and say those things, I don't care what they're saying. Cuz when I I want to hear them tell me that it worked out well because who is hearing that? My imagination's hearing it. And who's the imagination? It's the cause of my life. So I just trust in the cause. I don't care what the world's telling me. And the next thing you know, it naturally works itself out. Next thing you know, you revise the conversation and they repeat what you said. So I don't care what, the, what my past is, or what I've done or what others have done to me in my past. I don't care anymore. I don't care what's going to happen tomorrow because what happens tomorrow is what I do now. All that matters to me is completely letting go and leaving the world alone and accepting my desire being fulfilled now. And if I want to see it fulfilled, then I imagine it. If I want to hear it fulfilled, then I hear it. And it's the cause who's hearing this. It's the cause who's seeing this. 
and I believe in the cause. And you practice this every day with something. It can be anything. You just practice it. And you'll find it working in your life. And then you go bigger uh, for things that you really want. And you really can feel, you'll start to feel natural about using your imagination. You'll almost forget how the world was before you didn't even know about this information. You'll forget that at one point you didn't even think about your thoughts. You didn't give them a second thought. And now you're becoming aware of this thing within you that can cause um, a change in your life. So, and you can have more and more confidence if you do it daily. So, it's Neville's right. It's about the frequency. Um, there, for example, there's a lady who gave the um, she used the lullaby method, and she, every day she would feel that something wonderful is happening to me. And remember, is is a present tense, so she would feel it as something is happening to her right in that moment now, and then. Over time, she uh, she did that for two months every day. And then some man entered her life who, she was like an old lady who needed money. And there was a guy she knew from the past. And he was very wealthy. And he's, he's like, you know, I'm going to pay for everything for you for the rest of your life. And he sent her like monthly checks or something. So she did that every day. So we must learn to, you know, don't be so attached or don't, while you're imagining, don't think, well, I'm imagining this so it can happen, so it can happen, so it can happen. Be more concerned about having it fulfilled within you in imagination. Hear it in the mind and feel as if it's as if it's real. You know, you're almost playing pretend, but you're forgetting you're pretending. That is what I do. And I do that daily, and I'm just used to it now. And you can be used to it as well. And, um, you know, you can take this phrase with you that I've said, which is, I have willed it to be so within me. And what is so in imagination expresses. You know, I have willed it to be so within me. And what is so in imagination expresses. Truly understand what's being said there. And fall asleep to that understanding. That you have willed it to be so, which is present tense. You have willed it to be so. And what is so in imagination expresses. Hope that helps.